Good afternoon and welcome to The Brainery. My name is Sam Kingsley and I'm the head of STEM education here at The Brainery. We're really excited to be partnering with Robotics Australia Group as their education partner for 2022. At the moment we're working on some collaborative initiatives uh, in the education space that we'll be releasing some more details on soon and uh, we're looking forward to sharing those with you. In the meantime, I thought it'd be good to give you a little bit of background on The Brainery, who we are and, uh, and what we do. The Brainery has been working in the robotic space for the past 10 years. Uh, we started off working with uh, humanoid robotics within the education space and uh, into some alternative directions within healthcare and aged care, where we had some forward-thinking customers who wanted to push the uh, ability of these robots and their use cases into areas that uh, weren't necessarily uh, prevalent. So we saw some fascinating use cases of humanoid robots in, in rehabilitation uh, and we also saw them moving across into the library and glam sector where they were being used as a uh, customer service robot and an engagement tool for um, a broad spectrum of uh, people within their communities. You've noticed that I've got uh, a few different robots here on my desk here and um, that's one of the things that will prompt me to talk about some of the projects we have ongoing at the moment and uh, one of them that I'd like to share with you is uh, a collaborative partner in Western Australia, uh, Curtin University. We've been working with them and the uh, JD robot here on a autism related project where using this humanoid here where programming a suite of applications for JD to engage with and help students on the autism spectrum to uh, develop their social skills. Likewise, the, uh, the petoid robot Miro, which is just on the banner over my right shoulder, uh, we're also working with Curtin University in Perth on a collaborative project with a local aged care provider, Meath Health. Uh, the project is centred on using Miro within an aged care context to engage with and support residents. At the moment, uh, we've just completed the process of uh, stakeholder engagement where we've been working with Meath Health, uh, their residents and um, uh, the university team on what are the key things that the residents and Meath Health would like Miro to do uh, within their aged care context. And now we're working on developing the applications to, to deliver that. And uh, we can't wait to see the results of those applications in action. As with uh, all of our projects, we're, we're always keen to uh, collaborate and work with like-minded companies and people and organisations who see uh, the benefit of robots in a variety of fields. With that in mind, I've uh, got a little slide popping up with our contact details. Uh, please feel welcome to, to reach out, whether that's on social media, LinkedIn, or um, dropping us a line on the telephone. We're always keen to talk robots and, and see if there's any way for us to work together. It's lovely to speak with you and uh, I look forward to sharing more about um, the Brainery and Robotics Australia Group's collaboration in the education space uh, later this year.